Hi, my name is Megan and I am from Science Central. Today we will be going over our earthworm dissection. So we're going to start with the kits that your students should have. They should have in them a ruler, a magnifying glass, a pencil, a pair of scissors, tweezers, a probe, toothpicks, and some dissection pins. When your students collect their data, they're going to measure their worm in centimeters. They're going to measure from the anterior or head end through to the posterior end. To start off with, we'll start with the external anatomy of the earthworm. This is the dorsal side of the worm where it has a darker color. This is the ventral. On the bottom of your earthworm, you might not be able to see them because of the formal, formalin that the earthworms have been preserved in. There are small little feet called setae that look like just like little hairs. This is where you would want your students to go ahead and use their magnifying glass to see if they can identify that. Those little hairs help push the earthworm through the dirt. Flipping the earthworm over, you're going to notice that there is a lightly, a differently colored spot on their back. This is an organ, organ called the clitellum or saddle. And this is the reproductive organ. The front of the earthworm, their face, they have their mouth. Can you see that? Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, mm. kind of. Mm. Their mouth. And then this lip that extends over it is called the prostomium. An earthworm is a long tube, so it goes from mouth to anus. and its body is divided up into segments. For the dissection, you're going to want your students to take their scissors and insert them into the mouth of the earthworm. Cutting just through that layer of skin, they're going to cut their earthworm down through the center to the saddle. They will use their pins 
They will pen their earthworm by the mouth to their dissection pad. And then pinning just the skin to the side so that it opens up the earthworm and we can see its internal organs. We'll talk about the internal anatomy. Starting up here with the mouth, which you cut through, you're going to come down here to this organ, which is called the pharynx. Phar pharynx. And the pharynx helps the worm um, hold its food and then push it down into its crop. Now worms don't have teeth, so they have lots of small pebbles in their uh, gizzard, a lot like how chickens do, that go ahead and digest that food for them. After it's gone into the crop, it will go into the intestine, which extends to through the rest of the worm's body. Starting back up toward the top of the worm, worms have six hearts, which are these black lines or dots that you see here on either side of the esophagus. And you can see to the side here, one long vein that runs from the head of the worm along the length of its body. There is, on this side of the worm, another blood vessel that runs from the end of the worm up through the head to the hearts. So running along the sides of the esophagus, your students will see some large, larger white um, circles that look like small stones. These were kind of cut through. And those are ovaries and testes. Worms are hermaphrodites, which means that they can produce their own young. That draws an end to our worm dissection.